Hey guys, have you ever wondered why your snake has all these little holes around its mouth? Well those are its heat sensing pits and today we're going to be talking about why they have them and how they work. So for all the snakes that do have heat sensing pits, there are two types. There's your L'Oreal heat sensing pits and labial heat sensing pits. L'Oreal heat sensing pits are what's mainly seen in uh, pit vipers, hence how they get their name, pit viper. Those particular heat sensing membranes are located between the viper's eye and nostril. Where if we were to talk about pythons and boas, their labial heat sensing pits are located on the upper lip and the bottom lip. Pretty much a python or boa's lip scales are called labial scales, hence how their heat sensing pits are called labial pits. So there are some differences between a L'Oreal and a labial pit. On the L'Oreal pit, you've got a thin membrane stretched over the surface of the pit. Where on the labial, it basically layers the inside of the pit. Both these pit membranes are covered in sensitive heat receptors and are incredibly vascular. So basically they're full of blood vessels that transfer oxygen to the heat receptors, helping to cool them down. The purpose of this is to enable the snake to have a very accurate reading on its heat signature that it's detecting. Because these blood vessels basically have to cool down the heat receptors almost instantly after they've sensed something warm. What will happen if that doesn't happen, if it doesn't cool them down quick enough? Uh, basically the snake will be left with an inaccurate message. So it could be left seeing an after image of its prey. So generally the way it works is, let's say for example, a snake's looking at a mouse, it's picking up its heat signature with its heat sensing pits, so it can see the mouse in infrared. So, theoretically a snake can see a mouse in pitch black darkness by using its heat pits. By using its heat sensing pits. It enables a snake to, I guess, kind of have night vision in a way. Well, more or less infrared vision, so the mouse is just glowing bright even in a pitch black dark room. But then let's also say that the blood vessels aren't cooling down those heat sensing pits quickly enough and that mouse suddenly runs away. What the snake is left with is an after image of where the mouse once was. So an inaccurate um, visual display of where the mouse actually is. So that's why it's very important that the snake's blood vessels cool down the heat pits instantly. So these heat pits are basically another way for the snake to see. They almost enable its eyes to see heat. And then when you talk about snakes that don't have heat sensing pits at all, like uh, black-headed pythons and woman pythons, these are kind of the exception to the rule with uh, pythons. Almost all pythons have heat sensing pits of some sort or another, yet the uh, woma and the blackhead don't seem to have them at all. It's thought that because they come from environments where they're primarily eating other reptiles as opposed to other birds and mammals, they don't really need them as reptiles are cold-blooded, so having heat sensing pits would just be useless for them anyway. These guys basically hunt their prey on sense of smell and sight alone. Same as most colubrid species do. Most colubrids also don't have heat sensing pits. Things like my eastern brown tree snake, for example, doesn't have heat sensing pits. Same as a lot of other colubrids like milk snakes, corn snakes, king snakes, hognose snakes, rat snakes, garter snakes. The list goes on. But basically a lot of these animals are just hunting via sense of smell and sight alone. And like the blackhead and the woma here, which are mainly eating other cold-blooded reptiles, heat sensing pits are just useless for them, so they've adapted to just not have them. So that's basically it. Now you guys know why a snake has heat sensing pits, if it does happen to have them and what they do. Before I go guys, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. Instagram's down below if you want to follow me there as well. Don't forget to bring that notification bell, so you guys know when I upload new videos. Until then, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye.